Hi, this is Christina Hills, the shopping cart queen, and in this video I want to talk about the difference between using a website and a blog. Now when starting your online business, um, you need to make a decision of how, you, how you're going to have your website on the internet. And what I want to talk about is the concept of using a blog, blogging technology, using that as your website but not necessarily having it as your blog. So here we are at my shopping cart podcast blog. This is a blog and you get to it by going to shoppingcartpodcast.com and when you go there it will redirect you to slash blog. But this is a WordPress blog and this is the blog postings and I have uh, four different episodes of my podcast and this is using WordPress. Now my other website, my other blog at shoppingcartqueen.com this is another WordPress blog, slightly different look and this is a blog as you're used to seeing and there's various different postings and the date and on the right side I have an opt-in box, a search and you know it's a blog because you have subscribed by feed etc. So this is a traditional blog and there's different places you can go in the navigation. Now I want to show you this other site. This site is grassvalleynutcracker.com. This site is using blogging technology but it is not a blog in the traditional sense. Meaning I've created this website for this dance studio because the benefit of blogging is anybody can edit the pages. So there's a login link and anyone can log in and when they click to log in and enter the username and password and get into this blog. Now let me show you my home page. If I go to shoppingcartqueen.com this is my main website and this is a Hi, website this is created with Dreamweaver. This is a traditional web, web 1.0 website created in Dreamweaver. But the reason why I'm creating this video for you is I want you to consider using a blog and you can use it as a blog like I'm doing here or you can use blogging software and have pages, have opt-ins, and use it like a store. So here's a great example at operadepot.com. Operadepot.com is using a WordPress blogging technology, but it is not a blog. So you'll see there's the home page, composer, artist, new releases, trade with us. It has a free download, you can opt in, there's some poll here, but and then there's a, you can browse, etc. But it is not a typical blog. It is a website using WordPress, using blog technology, but not a blog. And the reason why I like this is because Let's click to um, click to this one here. See, Opera Depot has created a store, and there's a lot of content. There's um, audio samples, and you can click and you can buy your products here. But it is not a traditional blog. The benefit of this is that the owner of this website is not tied to any computer. The owner of this website can be on any computer and can edit and make changes. Plus another huge benefit is the search box. It's an easy way to have a search box on your website. I just searched for Mozart and up comes all the things that I want to know about oh, Mozart, all of the recordings, anything done by Mozart. 
a traditional website, it's not so easy to do that. So now notice, uh, La Noce di Figaro, okay, you can buy this, you can connect your shopping cart to it. So now I'm clicking to buy, and now you'll recognize this as the shopping cart system. You could continue shopping, or you can go ahead and check out. And once on the checkout page, you enter all your data and exit. So when you're considering building your website, if you're starting from scratch, I would recommend using a WordPress blog and adding your store to your WordPress blog and you could either have it as a store like Opera Depot did, this is a store, or you can create it as a traditional blog, you know, telling your diary, posting your thoughts to the internet. But in any case, the benefit of a blog is you're not tied to a webmaster, you can post from anywhere in the world, and you can connect your shopping cart to it. This is Christina Hills, the Shopping Cart Queen.